Hey, Daniel. Hey, Anna. How are you? Honestly, it's, I'm kind of rough. Transition to college has been a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it can be difficult, but I know some great resources to help you get through it. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Fan Fridays, the show where we answer all your questions about UNC Charlotte. I'm your host, Daniel Mahmood. And Anna Cagle. And today we are joined by two very special guests from the New Student Family Services Office, and they're going to help us answer your questions today. Okay, my name is Cameron. I am one of the Gold Rush Student Coordinators. I work with the New Student Family Services. Hi, my name is Raina Collins. I'm one of the Gold Rush Student Coordinators, and I also work in New Student and Family Services. Awesome, we are so happy to have you guys and we just have a few questions for you. So our first question is, what are some transitions that first year students experience? Um, I think first year students experience the transition of just adapting to classes. Um, some students, some teachers just start off with like with their syllabus, um, whereas others start right to lessons. Um, and also, I would also say that another transition is just time management. I think like deciding what to do with your time, whether you have class or you don't have class or the class canceled, um, being involved in organizations as well as just taking time for self-care. I definitely agree with Cam about first year students. I think their whole thing is about just figuring out what they're about to do when they go off to college and come up and come and come to our campus. I also think with transitioning for first year students, it's different because not everyone's situation is the same as the person next to them. So sometimes their transition could be a little bit smoother or it could be harder or it could just be not as typical as somebody else um like for sometimes a transfer student who's transferring to our school their transition here is a little bit different because they're coming from a different institution and now they're coming to unc charlotte so it's just based on like the student and the student's support system so they just really have to learn to adapt to campus and stuff like that yeah i agree like support systems especially could be really important when transferring and i think when you do have that support system it really makes that transition a lot easier for the students. So in your introductions, you both said that you were Gold Rush student coordinators. Can you elaborate on what Gold Rush is and what students can experience during Gold Rush? Gold Rush is what we call our week of welcome program. So pretty much this welcomes new and returning students back to campus. So there's tons of events that we have um, throughout the day um, and throughout that whole week that allows for students to get accustomed to campus as well as um, try to find ways to get involved. Gold Rush is also just like a week, well, 10 days, it's 10 days. It goes from like a Friday to a Sunday. And um, it's just like 10 days for all the students on campus incoming and the returning students to come back to get acclimated to each other because this is the first time they've been back on campus together. And with Gold Rush going to all these events and getting involved and seeing what's going on is really a great way to kind of ease your way into the academic year because just throwing us on campus a little bit hard, but like these events and these things and do things that we do and things that the students learn during Gold Rush is really beneficial for your students. So in regards to uh, Gold Rush, how can families support their students during the, especially during the first week of school? I think that families can support their students just by like pushing them to go to events, um, just encouraging them to like not stay in their residence hall, um, but just to go out and explore whether that's just making friends or going to an event um, or going to an organization's interest meeting that they're interested in. Um, just things like that will help students. Definitely agree with Cam. It's really just about pushing your student out to get outside of their comfort zone and I know there's like a schedule and stuff on Gold Rush, so you can even text your student or call your student and say, hey, are you going to the breakfast or for that new year concert like what are you doing and it's just like kind of pushing your student out there and wanting them to do more and definitely just like asking them how it went who they meet what'd you do what what happened sometimes it's like the annoying questions that makes them open up and see what's happening what went on during gold rush which is also very beneficial for all of them um will there be any alterations to the schedule do y'all know due to the COVID-19 outbreak um, due to COVID-19, we are trying to transition um, to some virtual events if possible, um, but we do still want to maintain like that Gold Rush experience for students. So if possible, allowing for our campus partners and student organizations to host events at um, a safe distance. Um, and so maintaining that social distance of six feet. So Gold Rush focuses a lot about student transition and helping students transition, transition to UNC Charlotte. 
Um, do you know of any other programs that uh, aid in student transition? Um, SAFE is one of the programs that we have. It stands for Student Advise Me <laughs> for Freshman Excellence. <laughs> um, and so it's one of the programs that we have. Um, it's mainly for underrepresented students, but anyone can join. Um, and so they come to school a little bit earlier and they take a class, but they also get to meet other of their um, incoming class, um, as well as have mentors that help them adjust to the college life. Oh, there's also UTOP, but they start like over the summer, I think in about July, where they take a, um, they take classes together and like the mentors are kind of there to help them guide campus and see campus and go through campus. I don't know what it looks like now on a virtual stance, but I would say it's a great opportunity for students because they're there months before and they're seeing things way before the academic year, before the academic year starts and before like the other 29,000 people get there. So it's like really helpful for them. But I would say SAFE and UTOP are great programs to get involved in. It's a great way for your first year students to figure out and find us and find their own support system here on campus with their mentor and and also within those offices and with those um other mentors there. We appreciate y'all being here today. We appreciate it. We love talking to y'all. Go Niners! Go Niners.